JC here at the Riders Headquarters. If you want to learn about the latest technology and action cameras, watch this. We brought in the Garmin Verb. It's got a sleek aerodynamic design and affords you the protection of being waterproof. It's also got a glove friendly switch on the side so you know when you're recording and it takes still shots and video at the same time so you don't miss a thing. We brought in Joe representing Garmin. So Joe, tell us what we got on the table here. Awesome. We have the Verb Elite and then the Verb. Two different price points, lots of bells and whistles with these cameras. So this one here, <clears throat> actually both cameras will come with what's on the table here. So it's gonna come with this mounting system here. This is a flat surface mount that's ultra adjustable. So you can adjust it this way here. Gotta be a little stronger than me. You can adjust it that way. Then if you undo this one over here, then you can adjust it this way, forward and backwards, to really make sure to get the shot that you want. And then you just tighten them back up. Like that, boom. This is a flat surface mount. This one's concaved here. So this is perfect, ideal for the top of the helmet. Pop it on there, stick it on. Uh, this right here is a universal kit. So if you already have a bunch of GoPro mounts, uh, this will actually hook up to any GoPro mount out there. Uh, your USB cord. So your USB cord is obviously going to uh, hook into the back of the camera through this port right here to charge it up to download your film to your computer. Uh, there's also a HDMI port, and then uh, just push that back in. Then here's your door to the battery and then your micro SD card. It'll take up to a 64 gig micro SD. Uh, battery life on this bad boy at 1080p is three hours. This nice big switch that Clint was talking about earlier, which is very glove friendly. You have it up there. It's got ridges on it. That's record mode. That's not. Switching over to the other side here, it has four different buttons here. It has your power and mode button, then your OK button, then your up and down buttons here. And then it has an awesome screen right on the top of it here. And this screen actually, when you're recording, it'll keep the view right there. It won't shut off when you're recording. So that's a nice feature. Joe, that screen, I was <laughs> playing with that earlier. And I notice it's also got an accelerometer and an altimeter built into it. So it'll tell you your elevation, it'll tell you how fast you're going, and you can, you can almost use that as a speedometer, I would think, if it was in front of you. Yeah, I mean, the thing practically makes your lunch for you. I mean, it has a <laughs> lot of a lot of bells and whistles these things do, that's for sure. Yeah, those are two big differences between the Elite version and the standard Verb version. Uh, two other differences is this one is uh, does offer GPS and then it also has uh, you can Wi-Fi it to your smartphone and then your smartphone becomes the remote to it so you don't have to use these buttons. A couple other bells and whistles. Joe, so what about recording? You talk about 1080p and a three-hour battery life. What if I what if I drop the resolution? Is that does it do anything for me? Does it give me more battery life? Absolutely, battery life, and also it's going to free up more space on your uh, micro SD memory card. Oh, good to know. So, yeah, you can get a lot more out of uh, 720. It has four different modes, 720, a um, couple different sections right up to uh, 1080. So, Well, that's good. That's yep. good. So, I'm a GoPro guy, and I've got my GoPro set up on my bike, and I've got these great mounts that I think that I never want to get rid of, but I love this camera. Can I use my, my mounts or do I have to buy all new mounts? No, absolutely. <clears throat> you can actually, it comes right in the box. It's nothing extra. Um, these right here allow you to connect right to all the GoPro mounts that are already out there in place. So oh. it makes it really easy for you to convert over to a Garmin. So we're talking about a GoPro and I know a lot of writers out there have them and we love them. They're a great company. But in a nutshell, what's the difference between this camera and a GoPro? Yeah, the biggest difference is, is this screen is included, comes right there on the camera, and the ease of switching it on and off, those two features right there alone are big differences. Uh, much sleeker look, obviously, too. Well, good to know. We really appreciate the info, Joe. As always, we welcome your questions. Call us at 800-706-9476 or go to jcmotors.com. Get live support and you'll find out why JC Motors is where riders get deals.